In clinical practice, gait analysis is often used in different patient populations. Additionally, in sports, assessing stabilizing, propulsive, or amortization properties of the lower limbs can help in developing more economical running and walking gait technique as well as help in injury prevention. The important biomechanical characteristics of the support phase can be assessed by measuring the ground reaction forces and center of pressure movement. Enter the step analysis test module from the main window by clicking on the step analysis button. Make sure you have acquired the subject's body weight beforehand. As with the organization of all the MARS test modules, the interface is divided into a left setup panel, a right analysis panel, a bottom measurement panel, and a central signals and results area. Before starting the measurement, appropriate input parameters must be determined in the setup panel. These are gate type, where you can choose between walking and running. Afterwards, select the leg with which these subjects will step on the force plate. You can choose between left and right. And finally, select the type of footwear, where you can choose among barefoot, running shoes, walking shoes, or high heels. To start with a measurement, Click on the New Measurement button. After launching the test module and clicking New Measurement, initialization and offset takes place. During this time, the subject should not be on the force plate. If necessary, the measurement mode can be cancelled by pressing the Cancel button. Before starting with the measurements, the subject should perform a few trial runs to get familiar with the force plate distance and the leg with which he or she steps on the plate. To change the leg measured, the subject should simply start the first step with the other leg. The goal of the task is to walk or run over the force plate as naturally as possible. Initiate the measurement by clicking the Start button. If the subject doesn't step on the plate, or only part of the foot comes in contact with the plate, the measurement must be repeated. The measurement stops automatically after the push-off. It can also be stopped manually by pressing the stop button in the lower panel. The measurement can be repeated by clicking on New Measurement, thus not saving the previous repetition. If you are satisfied with the measurement, you can save it. The central window displays the COP measured by the force plate. If the settings for analysis were changed after the measurement was completed, you can reanalyze the data by clicking on Analyze. Ground reaction forces in all three directions can be viewed under the Signals tab. The data from the analysis can be viewed under the Results Table tab. The results parameters are divided into different groups separated by blue headings. A more thorough description of the parameters can be accessed by right-clicking on the parameter name. Options for displaying specific sets of parameters can be accessed under the Parameters View menu in the right panel. For more information on this topic, please refer to Tutorial 7. Under the 3D Graph tab, the ground reaction force vectors can be displayed. To run the vector animation, press Animate. The frequency of the vector display can be set under the Cut Type commands in the right analysis panel. You can choose between two types of time analysis. First, the time between two consecutive vectors can be set. And second, the time of the step can be divided into various points.